Jesus can give them that sort of free focus and power that they need to continue in life. These gangs, especially the gang leaders, do you know how much influence they have on the youth? Only if they were born again. You know, they can encourage the youth, be good role models, and ensure that they become the best that they can be. You know? That's why every single morning, you know, I've got this energy and I just get up and I get on my knees, you know, and just thank God for blessing me with such a beautiful, amazing and hardworking. Uh, 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 uh. What do you want? Once you start praising me like that, I know you want something. What is it that you want, though? No, I mean, you know, mommy, I'm just loving you this morning. You know, I just love you so much, but mm-hmm. mommy. So, you know, there's a concert, right? You know, Mr. Sweet Songs concert? It's coming up. And like, I mean, just look at this, right? So, I was wondering, you know that pretty, pretty black dress that we saw in the window at Legit last week? <gasps> the one that was just like, buy me, buy me, buy me. So, I was wondering, could we please, 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 please give me that? I promise you, I'll make you tea for the rest of this year. I'll wash all the dishes. Me. And you won't have to ask me to wash dishes. I promise you, I'll be such a good little girl. Please, mommy, please, please. Thank you, mommy. You've got gazillion clothes and you look so beautiful in whatever that you wear i know but i mean this is a black dress it's not every day you come across a pretty black dress i mean do you know how beautiful i'm gonna look if i wear that black dress i can't repeat any other dress it's a black dress i'll think about it okay i'm gonna be a bit late today i've got drama rehearsals after school Okay, now. Hey guys! Hey! So, 
oh, my mom and I were just talking about Mr. Sweet Song's concert coming. Oh, oh my god. god. So you guys ready? Ready, ready <laughs> is an understatement. I was looking for whoa. <laughs> Look up the word ready in the dictionary and you'll see my photo right there. <laughs> Always so dramatic. <laughs> You guys know there's only a few years of school left. Have you even thought about what you want to do before university? You know, I was hoping to get a job at McDonald's by my dad, but I want to build my business ethics up. Not to talk about free burgers and fries and those little nuggets, but... <laughs> can you get me a job at McDonald's helping out? Have you even thought about what you really want to do? Well, no, you know, I've been in school, and yeah, I've been here doing homework, and I think it's time to play video games and sit at home and sleep. Yeah. You no, know, well, I thought maybe I'd volunteer at an old age home or an orphanage. You know, maybe just to help out and bring some smiles to their faces. Maybe they'll play some music or something. Oh, Mark. Oh, hi guys. What are you guys talking about? We're actually discussing what we want to do after school. Uh -huh. I want to go work at my dad's McDonald's. And Kendall wants to work at old age homes and orphanages to bring smiles to people's faces. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, Kendall, you're pretty nice. So, I'm sure the old age home will like you and all. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. But you're graduating before all of us. So, yeah. what are you going to do? Um, I've been doing some courses on the internet about uh, motivational speaking and all. So, I was thinking that I would start looking at how they're talking and all that stuff. And I would preach to the youth in my area to get them out of trouble, basically. So, that kind of thing. That's, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, there's a few more minutes for the meeting, and I need to go get stuff out of my locker, so I have to go. Okay. Well, I left some of my stuff in my the music room, so I'll go with well, you. Well, come on with me. Caleb, Caleb, are you cool, bro? Uh, you seem kind of depressed there, so I was checking what's wrong. You're quite observant. My dad came over yesterday, yeah, and he got into an argument with my mom because he feels that she's pressurizing me into being a Christian. And normally our custom is that the male follows the male head of the family. So that's been stressing me out because I don't know who to follow or what to do. So, yeah, you know, it's pretty stressful. Uh, you see, with things like this, you've got to start praying because God's put you here for a reason, you know, and you just have to do what you have to do. So I think everything will be all right as long as you just pray. So by the way, I need to go do my homework. My project is due, so I'll be in the library. But I'll take you. Thanks, dude. All right, thanks. I wasn't looking either, so uh, you look a bit dazed there. Uh, no, um, I'm okay. Oh, okay. Cool then. Not only is he handsome, but he's a gentleman too. Did you go to that orphanage or all age home? Yeah, I did actually. Did you too, and how did you do? I'm grading oh, yeah. for you really good. Your voice is amazing. Thanks. Yeah, George. I had your voice. Oh my gosh, I would see! Beautiful. Thanks, guys. Where's Vanessa? She's so late. Uh, you know Vanessa. Vanessa's always late. But we've done the prayer and everything. Yeah, well, she's, you know, present on TV. Oh, we can't do anything until she comes. But it's been 10 minutes. And I've got letters for her. As I'm sure she has a good reason. She yeah, I think so too. Reason. I mean... But I have like, an appointment just now. Yeah, well, you're going to have to wait anyway. Because we still have a whole cloud. Uh, finally, talking. someone graces us with their oh, presence. I, I am so sorry. I I'm so sorry I'm late. I ran into a little accident and... Okay, but it's okay. I'm here now. Mm. Alright, I believe we've all said a word of prayer, right? Yeah. Yes. Has anyone collected the mail? Got it. Wait, why are we still here? I'm sorry, there was a setback in renovation. So we're gonna be here for quite some time. Uh, uh, but these are... Yeah, these are all suggestions for the various columns. Alright, any depth updates in regards to the magazine? Well, I'm still talking to possible sponsors because we want to add some more pages. So we'll work on that sort. That's a great idea. Rhea, that means we can finally incorporate your fashion column into it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> right. Oh, this letter looks like it's from a guy. So would William please read it to us? 
Okay. Hip hop is in my blood. Hip hop is what I breathe. Hip hop is me. Hip hop is what brought JJ and me together. As kids growing up, we had the same love for anything hip hop. JJ and I were like the yin and yang of hip hop, and we were complementing each other so well. He was my homie, and we did almost everything together. Ours was a pure and cool friendship. We stayed away from trouble, despite the fact that our area was riddled with all manner of crime like rape, drug, petting, ATC. JJ was raised by his grandma and aunt, and his dad ran away when his mother informed him of her pregnancy. And his mom eventually got addicted to alcohol and drugs and moved out of the area. A single mother is raising me as I lost my father to a factory incident when he was on duty. We were good students, JJ and I, making our guardians proud. Everything was alright. All right, till my TV. Guys are looking at my dad. Nah. Woo! Cause though, man, it's wicked. You guys can't right? Yeah, man, why not? Yeah, dude, where you go? Let's go, let's go. Nah, man, let's go. It's just for spin, man. Let's go front end. Come, let's go. Come on, let's go, dude. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It wasn't just a spin. It was the beginning of a total life change from the way JJ and I knew to be. We got caught up in TB's way of life. He started buying us stuff and he started to hang with the major script. It wasn't so bad first until TB started making us deal for him. I was torn, but JJ seemed to get into it real quick. He idolized TB and would do anything to please him. We fell deeper and deeper. Our academics suffered and we were slowly losing grip of sanity. What we loved and everything good, including hip hop, was becoming a distant memory. So guys, as you can see, in this life, the only way you can succeed is by giving your heart to Christ. We have no other way, we have no other option. There's nothing else for us to do. I tried living the rough life. I tried living the street life, man. At the end of the day, I lost out. There was nothing, nothing. I missed out on school. I missed out on everything. I wasted time in jail, you know, in trouble in and out. Almost risked dying, using drugs, drinking, alcohol and stuff. But I thank God that Jesus came right on time and rescued me to tell you, oh, when you become a Christian, you know, you'll make money, you'll be poor, you'll be wretched. That's a lie. Everyone that Jesus dealt with, everyone that the Bible mentions that walked with God were rich people. So you can live rich, you can drive the best cars, live in the best houses, and be as happy as you want to be by just giving your heart to Christ. And I encourage you to do that right here, right now. So if you're ready, we can say the prayer right now and you can give your heart to Christ. Are you ready, guys? Yes. Here we go. Just say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus come, into my life. come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. From this day on, you are my Lord. You are my Savior. And I'm born again. In Jesus' name. Amen. That's it. That's as simple as it is. So I would encourage you, make it a habit to be in church. If you don't know where to go, look for me, I'm around, I'll take you to church. And you go there, you learn the word of God, you live by the word of God, and your life will never be the same. You turn around for good. And those that said you'll never amount to nothing will be shocked when they see you. Because your life will be moving upward and forward, guys. Is that cool, guys? So, man, I look forward to seeing you again. Yo, yeah, Ricky, hey, oh, that was a nice man? talk. Whoa, whoa. Oh, thanks, man. I haven't heard that in a while. You, know? you need it, man. You need it. Man. Yeah. Who's your friend? Ah, uh, that's Jay. He's just being punk that he doesn't want to, you know. I'm surprised he even greeted you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not a problem, he'll come around. Yeah, yeah. And the interesting thing is you can do music too. Yes, I am. I do rap music. Though. Well, me too. I mean, one day I'm looking to release my, my stuff. I don't know if you can help me out. Well, you can come around. The studio is just down the road, huh? Ah, uh, for real? Yeah. Is it cool come if I around. get your number? Yeah, cool, man. I'll give you my number. Nice. Nice. Uh, give me a shout. Come around the studio. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm comfortable. Oh, I greatly appreciate that. That's it. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. See you, man. Cheers, man. See you. Yo, bro, Ricky, just with me. I'll be with numbers. Where are you? Why are you here? Nah, man. I done with your bromance. Bromance? Are you here now, huh? Nah, nah hey, now. man. I mean, dude, I don't, I don't even know what happened to us. I mean, we used to be about that. Like, so what? Nah, man. Chill about that. You know, TP is waiting for us. We gotta go. You're it doesn't take life. Ah, you and TP. I got JJ to join me to pay Ricky D a visit in the studio. I used to live in darkness, a world of sadness, a life without the spirit to God, and I cared less. Yo, I yo, Ricky, Ricky. Ricky. Hey, hey, guys. Hi. Hi. Uh, Thanks for coming. Ah, oh, we had to come, we had to come, we had to come. We couldn't miss this one, uh uh. Serious? Yay. It's like one of, the, it's like one of those the ones in the last time to opportunities. Okay, so I had a flow, so show me what you got. You want to hear all you got? Yeah, I want to hear it. Can you hear it with the one we always do? Yeah, I was yeah, just hearing yeah. this one. Don't tell us what you think, right? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Go like, ah, young boy Tony. Yeah. 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 Young boy Tony, young boy Jay. When you hear him freestyle, how I say A. Young boy Tony, what Jay. When you hear him freestyle, how I say A. Running the street streets, running the town town What we do, what we say, goes a long mile Money in the lyrics that goes a long mile Money in the streets that goes a long mile That's just about it uh, I can hear you very well mm. um, Some potentials, but um, Do it again, do it slow Let me hear the words Can you like uh, take uh, like this five minutes because I just wanna grab something? What is that? Uh, just something to calm the nerves a little bit. You know? What is that? Calm your nerves? Yeah. Are you nervous? Yeah, I just wanna get you in the mood. You know what I mean? So what gets you in the mood? A little bit of green. Weed? And you are good to go. Good to go that way. I tried that out and then uh, almost cut my life shut. You don't need it, man. You don't need it. There are better ways to go about this. And the best I can think of is Jesus. The best I know and the best there is is Jesus and the Holy Spirit. So, man, go and get yourself ready. And when you're set, you know where to find me. Right here. Okay? Alright, All right, man. Catch you guys, man. Okay. Cheers, man. Thank you. Nassau! 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 If there's one thing Ricky D was right about, it was the fact that I needed to leave this life because it wasn't for me. I've always known I was destined for bigger things, and now was the time to fall in. So I decided to call Ricky D because I was ready for a change in the new beginning. Get to a holla, so. When you see me on the street, make you holla, not so. Chop my cook if you feel my swagger, not so. Yes, so, yes, so, then go the holla, not so. Yo, Jack, mm -mm, dude, I think my country just hit me, hey. This life we're living, I think I'm, I'm out, bro, for real, like I'm out, dude. What are you talking about, man? This life we're living, I'm, right now we're drinking, you smoking, most of I think I'm quitting, bro. I mean, you know what? Because I'm thinking when TV comes in, I'm out, I'm out. Dude, are we gonna do this or not? Do you remember how we used to be, bro? Like we used to, we used to rap, we used to be all the good boys and mother, but now look, we're getting faded. Everyone, look, bro, let's just let's just dig out of this. I don't know, man. I don't know. Dude, you gotta make up your mind right now. TV, TV comes here. What are you, what are you gonna tell? Him? What are you gonna say? Aren't you tired of this life? Wife. Let's move. Let's get up now.
Yo, can we can keep that one with back. Let's leave. Let's leave. That's what I want. Man. From there, I went to Ricky D. Stewart and narrated everything to him. He later scolded me to the police to give my statement. JJ is currently spending time in the juvie cell. He turns 18 in a few months, after which he will be tried as an adult. He could get life for manslaughter. I'm currently on probation for being there. Ricky D. led me to cross, and my way of living has been turned right. Yet I can't stop thinking of how I lost my best friend just when we were about to, to give up everything. Terrible that I have to end that way. I mean, as you said, they were about to give up everything. They let themselves be controlled by greed, flashy things, and blame. I don't think their lives were that bad. Their parents gave them the best that they could. But you know, it's just sad how you look up to someone and they can influence your life positively, yet they choose to destroy it instead. But how can somebody influence somebody else's life positively if they have a bad upbringing themselves? Guys, they both chose to be influenced negatively. They chose to start living that life. The Bible does say, Blessed is the man that woke up not from the path of sinners. From that moment that they jumped into TV's ride, knowing fully well what he was involved, their fate was sealed. I mean, Tony, however, he's been given a second chance. But I mean, guys are so dumb. I mean, why work for something and then you can't even like get the results? I mean, now what is JJ going to do with the sneakers and his bling and all that stuff? In jail. But some guys, aside from greed, choose to do it to feel cool. My mom and I were listening to the radio broadcast earlier. A young man was shot to death by another guy. This is something that really does need to be addressed. We'll get to work on the response as soon as possible. And the young guys out there need to know. There's nothing there like gangster's paradise. It's only a fool's paradise. You can easily lose yourself. Your mind, your body, and your soul. Okay, guys. Don't forget to see you, but see you again next time. Hey, Gabrielle. You're going to the lunch area? Yes, why? No, I was just wondering if you want some company. <laughs> no, what for, you freaks? <laughs> Poor William. He didn't get any girl eating out the palm of his hand, but the one he wants. Just shut up. Wait, William, no, wait. I'm sorry, William, please, just... Hey, Valesa. Hi. Today's story was pretty dramatic. Yeah, I know. William was heavily affected by it. So the bar's about to go. I gotta go get my drama script. Oh, I'm gonna get mine too. But drama's in in pretty late today. You need to home. Oh no, it's okay. I told my mom I'd take the bus. Are you sure? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, I'll see you at drama. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Kanye. Hey. Are you taking the bus today? Yeah, I have a ton of homework and I'm going to the library, so. <laughs> okay then, let's go. 
Oh. Vanessa, I have a question. I want to be on the TV club. Oh, okay. What can you do for us exactly? Well, I can write, I can draw, anything. I'm just okay, um, you can talk to Brittany about that. She is the secretary of TiVo. Mm. And you will have to sign up onto my blog, Palace's Diary. You can get that on www.ucos.com. That's Y O O K O S.com. And drop your comments. We basically made it a huge platform for everyone and anyone to drop their comments and opinions on whatever we're addressing. I'm definitely signing up. But I'm good then. Being cool has nothing to do with weapons, bling, rides and gangs. Being cool is when your character can positively affect the people around you. Being cool is making wise choices that make everyone associated with you to be proud of you. Not getting involved in drugs and gangs doesn't mean you're weak, but rather that you are strong enough to stand on your feet and say no. Saying no to everything that might stop you from achieving your dream. The guys that get involved in gangs are actually living a mirage. Because when it's all said and done, those things will become like air and will not add any sort of value to your life. It doesn't matter how your beginning started out as. You can determine your outcome, your end, by recreating your world and declaring that you're a success. There are no natural born failures. Failure is self-made. There is greatness in each and every one of us. Think the best, hope the best, dream the best, talk the best, and most importantly, live the best, because you are God's best. Growing up with time I died, my mama way though, way back in the streets, living life as a girl was tough, but I didn't turn out to be wrong, someone was even cussed, but mama used to say, with a step down, for Jehovah to lift you up, I'm on top, no one cussed, no longer ups and down. I won't flop cause the world has turned my life around Look at me in a place where my grace abound My words be through the doors and fall back to the ground Supernatural, only go genesis I'm a superman working with wonderful marvelous